Hey, foodie bays. Chef Shell stopped by on episode two and showed us how to make this delicious peanut butter ice cream sandwich with caramel drizzle. Let's get into it. Spilling on tea. What's up, friends? Spill it on me. Let's eat. Dinner's on me. What it's going to be. I love a good kiki. We can talk ish, but first you got to feed me. How you talking with your mouth full? Let's bring the vibe out more. We young and we outgoing. If it's going down, we got to know it. And you know we lit. So how it start, never how it's going. All right, foodie base, we're gonna start by preheating the oven to 350. We laid all of our ingredients out first just to make it simple. The ingredient list is in the comment section down there. So we're gonna start by creaming our butter and sugars. Your butter, you want your butter to sit out and be softened at room temperature. Then we're gonna put it in the blender with our sugars and just combine those, whip them until they get smooth. You see it, whip, 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 baby. Once you see that smooth consistency, we're gonna add in our peanut butter and get that mixed in as well. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Next, we are going to add in our egg and our vanilla flavoring and get that mixed in together. Once you get that smooth consistency again, we're gonna add in our dry ingredients, we're gonna start adding our flour mixture and just whip that in, fold it in rather, and let it mix and blend very well. Once everything is mixed, we're gonna transfer it to another bowl, roll all the dough together and pack it down so that we can refrigerate or freeze it for 20 to 30 minutes just to ensure that all of the batter is completely mixed and it and it's hard enough to bake the cookies you want to cover it with some type of plastic wrap or foil or something just to cup it down in there and make sure that it gels together once we remove them from the fridge we're going to roll in sugar which is optional scoop them out on your pan bake for 9 to 12 minutes or until the desired color you'd like once they cool, we're gonna add a little scoop of ice cream and drizzle them with caramel. Listen, baby, you will not be disappointed with this recipe. It's foodie approved. Thanks for watching. Today's recipe was provided by Chef Shell of Taste of Elation. Check her out at tasteofelation.com and make sure you're going to tastyconvos.com. Sign up and become a foodie bay for all exclusives.